Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So with the recent rollout of version 25H2 of Windows 11, as I posted a couple of days ago, FlyOBE received an update for Windows 11 25H2 support. I'll leave that video linked for version 1.23 because it'll give you a little bit more information if you'd like to connect the dots. Now, as you can see, and just to let you know that FlyOBE 1.25 has been released, which is now the latest stable version, with further 25H2 improvements. So just a quick overview as to what's new in this Windows 11 Bypass System Requirements app. Now, first of all, the developer says that OOBE has been optimized further for Windows 11 25H2 support with extended debloat routines targeting AI components, bundled apps and the overall user experience. And then another key highlight with this version upgrade is it's mentioned that navigation now starts with a lightweight Windows 10 style flow focused on upgrade or reinstalls. And then once switched to Windows 11, as in my case, the full OOBE navigation is unlocked. Then just to mention the next, they've made general UI optimizations and improved the color harmony across all OOBE panels. And a navigation collapse panel has been added so the main panel can now go full screen via the toggle button next to the More menu, as we can see in the More button. I think that's a nice move. The notification area has been improved for better clarity and consistency, according to the developer. And core integration of the PowerShell extensions has now been optimized for faster and cleaner execution. And then the last improvement that has rolled out with this latest release, which I actually think is a nice move, is if we head to the extensions and we head down towards the bottom of the page, yeah, you'll see a new Windows Update Tamer that's been added to extensions, which the developer says is a new tool to manage Windows 11 updates directly from FlyOOBE. And it allows pausing or resuming updates, disabling automatic updates, setting an extended pause period, up to 10 years apparently and restoring default behavior which i actually think is a nice touch and a nice improvement to the app so that's more or less guys what's new in fly obe version 1.25 which is now the latest release and this app has become quite popular that's why i'm covering it a little bit on the channel from time to time just to keep you guys posted especially now with the rollout of windows 11 25 h2 so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.